have you ever been to a crisis and how do you handle crisis? Uh, does your leadership style change during crisis? Well, it's, it, crisis leaders sometimes um, are extraordinary in managing the crisis but can't manage the rebuilding. Similarly, startup leaders sometimes are not great leaders when the startup um, has to go to a growth leader. So all of that really suggests that leaders are, are segmented. I personally believe, because I believe learning unleashes the power in all of us, I think you can study and learn how to do it better. But operating under stress, uh, take for instance 9-11 in New York City. Rudy Giuliani was a spectacular crisis leader. Many questioned whether after the crisis he could be effective in rebuilding the city. And I think the answer to that is self-evident in history. Because I tend to be very direct, because I'm actually excited at the notion of going to battle in a courtroom or going to battle in a wire room with a criminal enterprise or taking on the Kali cartel who are basically eroding an, an industry, or threatening an industry's profitability, I like crisis. <laughs> In fact, I enjoy crisis as much as I enjoy hard problems. And I think you're right. In a crisis, you have to communicate clearly, and someone has to make decisions. That sometimes means your ability to be collaborative has to be managed differently. But you'd better be getting the feedback you need from the right people, or those crisis decisions you're making are going to be at risk. At the end of the day, it comes down to the ability to make decisions under fire and knowing how to get the best information. In the non-crisis setting we were talking about before, in many ways, it's similar. The ability to get feedback so that you can make a better decision.